Hello, Olivia Weinstein, and I'm from San Francisco, California. Hi, Stefan Swoboda, almost 30, musician <laughs> and performer sometimes. <laughs> Sorry, can you edit that? You, you make something great out of it. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for joining us for the pilot episode of Circus Hiatus, our brand new mini series where we interview circus artists around the globe and we get to hear how their careers have been impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. And I am so excited for our first guests, Olivia and Stefan. Olivia and I are very good friends. We studied together at the National Circus School. She's a clown, she's an acrobat, she's one of the nicest people in the industry. And her fiance, Stefan, well, I just met him, but he seems very nice. So let's jump into the first episode of Circus Hiatus with Olivia and Stefan. Hello, nice to meet you. Thank you. Let's start with the, the very basic. Why don't you introduce who you are? Because some people may not know who you are at all. Oh, I'm Olivia Weinstein. I'm born and raised in San Francisco, California. And um, I started gymnastics and circus when I was four years old. And continued training at Acrosports uh, for 14 years. And then when I was 18, I auditioned for the National Circus School of Montreal, got in, and in 2013, I graduated in a major of clowning. Since then, I've been uh, traveling around the world, working with companies such as Circus Monty, Cirque Buffon, Cirque du Soleil, Cirque Alois, Palazzo, variety dinner shows, which is held in Germany and Austria, where I met. Hello, <laughs> my name is Stefan, Stefan Svoboda. I'm from Austria. Um, I'm a musician. I started off um, f very early with drums, um, played um, in a couple of bands, started out with my father making music, and then if uh, when that became uncool, then I um, started playing with a couple of friends of mine, had a couple of projects, bands, and then by the age of 20, I got accepted to the conservatory in Vienna, did my bachelor studies there um, for four years. After that, I moved to Mannheim, Germany, um, for my master studies um, at the Bob Academy. And uh, in this time, I started touring um, professional with a couple of artists such as Conchita Wurst. And um, yeah, in this time also I got recommended for Palazzo. And in the second year, I met this lovely person. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take a second and describe for us what is Palazzo? Like, What is the experience of, of an audience member going to Palazzo? What am I walking into? Um, so Palazzo is a variety dinner show. So you walk in knowing that you're going to get a four-course meal. Four-course yes. meal. Yep. So the show is about three hours, three and a half hours long because it involves eating. And you're coming and going throughout the show, right? Exactly. It's kind of, uh, there's like a little part of a show or there's a part of a show, then you have your first course. And then the second part, which goes into your second course. So it's always like divided of show, food, show, food, show, food. Is it in a theater or is it in a tent? In a Spiegel tent, which is like a mirror tent. So there's mirrors all around. It's very beautiful. Right now, where in the world are you? Vienna, Austria. What are the current restrictions in place in Vienna? Can you go for walks? Can you go to the stores? Tell us a little bit about that. You should only go out for short walks. Keep your distance, of course, um, and then you're allowed to go, of course, to pharmacies, to grocery stores. But now the new thing is that we all have to wear masks and, um, gloves. and gloves and yeah, keep, uh, keep your distance. But um, uh, traveling, um, going for a longer hike or whatever, is it's not forbidden, but... It's not uh, looked kindly upon. Exactly. And people start um, really, really being picky on you if you do yeah. it. So if, if you, get, you get the glares. Exactly. If you don't have a dog and you're walking for quite a while. It starts to feel. It starts to feel. People get suspicious. Yeah. Right. So, how, so you were in the middle of doing Palazzo when, when the whole pandemic started to really take over, right? Yeah. So um, thankfully we weren't in the middle, it was just about to end, it was our last week. It was the last week we were aware of, aware of the situation because of Italy and then the press conference of the Austrian government started and um, one of the first things they said, we are cancelling all events over 100 persons inside 
and all events outside over 500 persons and Palazzo is around 300 350 persons so I was like okay that's done so that's we were done. waiting for a call which also um, we got then after a couple of hours telling us hey it's, um, it's, done. it's basically done the last week and that was it we got yeah. our stuff and <laughs> yeah. contract so, finished but it was such a weird I remember feeling because we were like cleaning up our stuff and we were like Everyone was kind of in this like days of like, oh, okay, yeah. do I stay? Do I move my ticket forward? Because a lot of people in the cast were from all over the place. So it's like, okay, do I leave now? Do I stay? But if I stay, am I going to be allowed to leave? Because it's going, things are changing every day. And, and, and things are, were changing really fast really in the first quickly. week. With the, with the flights which got cut, it, it was... Pretty, pretty fast. It was version. like Palazzo had gotten canceled. I think the next day, the 30 day ban happened. In theory, when is when was your next contract? When is your next contract? Um, our next contract starts in June and still happening. Uh, with uh, It's a six month contract uh, touring the German part of Switzerland with Circus Monty. Never heard of it. Never. <laughs> no, I guess I guess it's important before before I say something like that. I should say that that's where you, you and I got to work together as a duo at Circus Multi. Okay, so knowing knowing that, how how are you keeping yourselves occupied as artists? So what's really helping us, I think, mentally and keeping uh, us motivated and creative and like physically fit also is um, we decided to make short videos for Instagram, actually. And we're having a lot of fun doing that. It's called the Quarantine Chronicles. Quarantine Chronicles. And you said it's on Instagram. And what is your Instagram handle? Clown and a drummer. And no one else had that handle? That's incredible. No. <laughs> no one else. We, boom, we got it. We stole it. Give it that. So uh, where did that idea come from? Well, we've been talking about creating an Instagram account for a while. This just seemed like the perfect moment. And we were like, oh, okay, this is perfect moment. People are on their phones or social media all the time because you know you're keeping in touch with friends and updated and so then we were like oh oh what we had all these ideas and then that's and then it just kind of really like boom, it was all supernatural and we we're like oh okay wait let's do this and you know even we're you know eating and like oh man i just came up with that idea or something so, yeah yeah well, guys, I want to thank you for your time and for telling your stories. And it's great to hear about it and uh, keep creating, keep doing these videos. Uh, where you. Can you remind us where people can find them? Instagram, Clown and a Drummer. <laughs> clown and a Drummer is a comedic duo that combines clowning, acrobatics, and music. Wow. Okay, you really sold it. <laughs> Thumbs up in the back. Check it out. I want to thank Olivia and Stefan for taking the time to speak with us today. If you'd like to know more about them, you can visit their website, www.clownandadrummer.com. And if you'd like more information about the Contemporary Circus and Immersive Arts Center and how you can help us by supporting us so we can help support artists around the globe, you can visit our website at www.ccic.us. Thanks, and we'll see you next week. Subscribe! Huh! Video! Huh! Are you still there?